Hello again, and welcome to the MG4. Is the MG4 an affordable, little, and practical car? Probably, but this car is shaped like a hatchback, and you all know what that naturally means. Is it any fun? Well, the first few days I had this little car, I thought to myself, hmm, yeah, it's a bit of a boring one. But then, I found something which makes this car a bit of a fun one. Now going into the car. Okay, look, 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 look. This is the main display. If you swipe from up here and down, you will find a traction control button, which you can deactivate. And that function changes everything in this electric car, because this car, this is rear-wheel drive. And that means, yeah, you know what that means. The thing about cars today, most of them are pretty safe, pretty fast, pretty reliable. But the thing is, are there any fun left? And for this MG4 to be a true hot hatch, let's see if we can have some fun. Sport mode. <laughs> That's a good first impression that the rear is sliding out. Do you remember the good old days where hot hatches were under a ton? Maybe around 100 horsepower and yeah, no safety systems. This is not like that. Let's see how it is around the bends, okay? Let's test here. There's a bit of slippage from the back. This car is already much more fun than most electric cars, I would say. I get a bit of the hot hatch vibe. It's pretty good fun. And these roads are just so perfect for this. You can just throw it around and... <laughs> the thing about hot hatches and electric cars is that the torque is so instant, so every time there's a bit of slippage, you can just feel the rear end stepping out so quickly. You have to be a bit a bit quick to uh, to catch it because there's no there's no waiting you will get caught out if you're not ready to be a bit reasonable on the inside here there's a ton of safety systems and overall yeah, I don't like them that much it's too nervous I would say they are very sensitive so they will go off at any moment but the lucky thing is you can turn all of these systems off. So that means you will end up here with a car, with rear wheel steering, no traction control, all the safety systems are off, and therefore, pretty good fun little car. The thing about MG is, and especially here in the MG4, that they try to fit every possible extra equipment in here. So that means a pretty big screen here, where you get all the functions you will get in the more expensive cars, like in the German cars. But all the features are, they're not as good, but they're pretty good for a car priced at 35,000 euros or under. But you will get everything in here. That means you will get all these assisting, lane assisting and cruise control and you will get heated seats and you will get different modes and you will get parking assistance and rear camera and front camera and 360 camera. You'll get all these features, but not to say that these features are in a very, very high quality manner. These features are just the basics. And more to that, you will also get Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, of course. But this is with a cable, not wireless. One thing I will say is that this Apple CarPlay is a bit, it's a bit weird because it disconnects all the time. But now let's test the practicality side of things. Can you fit in here? Yes. But one more important thing, there's also phone pockets for the phone-addicted young generation of people. Clever thinking. Is there any space around back? Yes, for a dirty cable. Also very dirty, like the car. Okay, so my idea was, how do we test a hatchback or hot hatch properly? We go to the countryside. And those are to find at my home city, where my parents live. So. I've now traveled all the way to Holbeck. 
a small town, but surrounded by B roads. Okay, you want to know the basic stuff also. On the wheel here, you have all these pretty basic controls like volume and you can set the cruise control and you can take calls and all this. Luckily, all these buttons are physical, but they are on this piano finish and it's very, it leaves marks all over the place. And the same here in the middle, there's also piano black. Yeah. As you know, I love a mode button and this car also has the modes. You'll have a snow mode, you'll have a eco mode, a normal mode, a sport mode and a individual mode where you can configure. Let's just choose the sport mode. Let's do a launch here. Okay. Not uh, particularly fast at all, but that's not the point because a true hot hatch from back in the days was slow as f But the thing about hot hatches is that you have to keep the momentum. When you go around the bends, you have plenty of power. You have this 204 electric motor on the wheel rails, and that makes pretty good power. It's around 1600 kilograms and doesn't feel too heavy either. The suspension though, it's on the soft side, so that means a bit of wobbly around and the car, yeah, it is soft and you can feel it, but if you load the car up nicely, you can also still have fun. But the thing about this soft suspension will also make the rear wheels slip a bit. Not both wheels all the time, sometimes only the inner wheel will spin. And when you have an electric car, it will just keep on pulling till it gets grip. There's no RPM, there's no engine. The feeling you get in here is not like a German car. It's on the cheaper side. Everything is plastic, but this is after all a 35,000 electric car with all this equipment. So you can't expect to get nice leather everywhere on Alcantara. This is uh, plastic mostly. And the leather parts are synthetic and that's just how it is. I didn't expect more because this car is filled with equipment that is normally very expensive to option out in most cars. And sometimes these systems may not work at all times, but they do a pretty good job. And therefore, this car is a pretty good value. I think it's a bit funny looking. I don't think it's particularly pretty. I think it's cool with the spoiler in back. Can you live with this car? Yeah, sure you can. This is a 430 WLTP ranged car and that means here in Denmark, pretty cold, so that means maximum 300 kilometers at winter, probably a bit more at summer, but the peak charge rate is at 135. It's also okay, it's not the best, it's not the worst. But the thing about this car, it's fun, and you get the rear to slide out, and that just makes it all for me. It's one of the only electric car where you can actually push it a bit and have a bit of fun, not to have it all in safety manners and everything has to be on the control at all times. I sure hope more manufacturers in modern day times also consider a bit of fun while we drive around in our cars. So it's not 100% safety system, but maybe 10% fun, like this car is. Also here maybe. Oh, there goes my phone. Yep, that's one thing about this wireless charger. If you have your phone there and you have a bit of fun, you will not have your phone there for five minutes. It will be on the floor. Let's make for a bit of slide here. Okay. 